First off, you are looking in incredible shape. How are you feeling? Thank you. Um, thank you for the gum. I got my gum mouth away. Now it's like a right here. I'll pick it up. Back Put right. it behind your ear. For yeah, exactly. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Oh, it's two interviews. Yeah, okay. So this is about you. So how did you find the fight? It was a draw. Are you happy with that? What do you think? Like, what do you think? You Don't take anybody's side, but take somebody's side. I don't know. People telling me I won, but it was a dirty, he, was dirty, he was a dirty fighter. And he thought I was going to get gassed out, and I kept my cool, because I knew I wanted to give all my out in the first round. He was tough, I'm not going to lie. It was a great fight. How was camp going into this fight? Camp was great. I was in Moscow, Bupas. I was with Vladimir Mishev. He's a 12-0 professional boxer with a belt. And, you know, I was training in the snow three times a day. I lost 11 or 12 kilos. It was tough because I love to eat and it was tough. And I never did cardio. I had to quit smoking. Thank God this event made me quit smoking. I smoked for seven years like crazy. Nicotine vapes, vapes, vapes. So now I'm just chewing your gum. Thank you. Smoking kills, kids. Yeah. Don't smoke, yeah. don't smoke. Don't do it. Uh, we were chatting to your fellow fighter yeah. earlier on. He said a rematch is going to happen. Fuck. How Will you change any of your strategy for that rematch now you've fought him once? i got to watch the fight. I don't, yeah, of course I'm going to change it because I didn't want, I wanted to get the knockout. But he was fast. I was like, uh, I was just too, so, so much adrenaline. You know, it's the first fight I never got used to with so many people around. But it, I think the rematch will be crazy, yeah. It will be crazy, but... I will prepare better. I'll work on my cardio even more. And yeah, I'll be ready. You, he was a lot more bigger than him going into the fight. Yeah. Was there anything that he surprised you with, considering a little small difference in size? I mean, he was training always with his left hand down, so I thought I was going to clip him. But in, when I was in front of him, he was keeping it up. He was fast. He landed a few punches on me. I landed on him. Yeah, he definitely surprised me. I thought he was going to be an easy opponent. And we got gassed out, I believe, at the same time. But. I was ready. After I saw him like this in the corner and coming back, I was like, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die right here. But I'm not going out because I'm tired. Being, being a big man, I felt like your game plan was right. You was pressuring him. You was putting weight on him. You were stopping him from doing the work that he could do. It's yeah. a good game plan. Do you think that went well, how you was working it? Yeah, because I was sparring and uh, the professional boxer that I was sparring, trainer, he was twice his size and I was dying by the second round because he was pressing me. And I'm like, why am I so tired? Because he goes, because I'm the king in the ring. So I tried to do that, but if I didn't attack him, I don't think he would have, he would have just been standing in the middle. I was chasing him. It was like I said earlier in the other interviews, it was Tom and Jerry. It was just like in circles. I was pressing him, but yeah. Let's talk about your outfit choice at the weigh-in. Who helped you choose that? Oh, I was just in Soho, London, and I saw a sex store. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and I was like, fuck, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't have a gimp mask at the same time then. Uh, with the mask? Yeah, the mask, yeah. The mask? I was actually going to do it for a prank. I ordered it from China and it came so late and my mom took a picture. She's like, you want me to bring it? I was like, yeah, I'm going to walk out with it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> so plans going in, obviously, rematch probably will be the future fight for you. Yeah. But is there anyone else that sort of in your firing line that you may call out after this fight's done? And is there any future fights that interest you? I mean, I'm not big on social media. Like, I feel like I'm a big guy. And I got lucky that Kristen accepted this fight. So I don't know, Steve will do it, called me out. I reposted it everywhere. The video got like 4 million views on his vlog. And I said, let's go, sign me a contract. He's gone. I don't know. We're, I think we were supposed to fight with Logan Paul in Dubai before he lost to KSI. But now he lost. I don't know if I want to fight a loser. <laughs> I love that bad art. You got to put that little Just punch talk at the end. You know, I'm new too. Apparently this was an expedition fight. So, but I love you guys so much. Thank you. It's your life, your choice. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Love you.